Have you ever wanted to leave a program always on top? Here's the idea. Let's say you're watching your favorite movie and you want to write some notes about it at the same time, but your screen is only so big. Well, many programs have always on top to where you can leave your program up in front of everything else, even when you make something else active, and then you can type. And when you finish your review, you can go ahead, make sure it's not always on top anymore, and then click away. Unfortunately, though, not every program has this. Maybe you want to have Notepad be always on top. The option is just not there. Or maybe your web browser, maybe your email. Well, with AutoHotKey, I'm going to show you how you can make any program become always on top. First, we're going to go ahead and set our hotkey. So I'm going to use Windows A, which I've been liking because I can remember A being always on top and the Windows key. It just kind of feels like a window manager thing to me. And then we're going to use the win set command. We're going to say always on top. And then we're going to say A. Take note of the commas here. There's a comma after win set and two commas after always on top and then A. The extra comma signifies that there's nothing in that parameter for win set. Then we're going to return out of our function. We're already done. All right, I've launched the script. So let's go ahead and open up Notepad again. And now if I hit Windows key and A, I'm typing here. And then I come back to my uh, VS code. And now I can type here as well. When I use my shortcut again in Notepad, and then I click away to VS code, it's going to get rid of it. So you can think of it as like a toggle. If that's all you came here to see, thanks for watching. But stick around if you want to learn more and figure out what all this means. If I open up the auto hockey documentation for win set, you can see it takes an attribute, a value, and a win title. So our attribute is simple. Win set is actually setting variables uh, in Windows for like different GUI application kind of things. That's another reason why auto hockey is so powerful for Windows is because it's able to set all these flags. And there's a few other different kinds of things. I'd encourage you to read more uh, into this if you want to figure out like what the different things do. As for the value, you can see in the documentation, it can be on, off, or toggle. And it also defaults to toggle. So that's what we're doing here. Maybe you come up with a script that opens up a window and then toggles it to always on top every time. If we look at the win title, though, you can see that's the A right here. That actually refers to the active window. This is a really nice shortcut to say, apply this to the window that you have recently used. Normally, when you're trying to do something like this, you need to open up the window spy and you need to figure out what the AHK EXE is or maybe the AHK class and then try to do some uh, syntax around that. But we don't care about that and it's also gonna change every time. So we don't wanna have to, for each of our applications, set which application is running. There you have it. That's always on top with AutoHotKey. If you want this script, you can find it in the description, or you could just type it because it's literally one line of code. If you like this video and you want to see more automation scripts and tutorials, check out my other videos. See ya.